Hey guys, Anthony here from Triple XRC Garage, and um, I'm here today to test out um, what's underneath this Fox body, and it's actually the Chucksworth mid motor car. I did purchase this car, and I'm not bashing anybody who makes mid motor cars, but I did purchase this car before I found out from some guys who really know their stuff that said that the um, mid-motor cars are not fast and they don't get good traction. Well, I'm gonna try to see if we can work with this to make that happen. So, the first runs I'm gonna do, it's gonna be without the body. I wanna check it out and see if I can't get this thing to get some good traction. And so, yeah. So anyway, stand by. Okay, so I got the body off. Got this, my Spectrum, my new Spectrum DX5 Pro. Um, so I'm gonna be working with this and working with that at the same time. Now, I got this pretty much around the same time I got that. And so this is all new platform here for me. Um, I, uh, I'm hoping that we can get this thing to queue in and work well. Uh, the biggest thing I, from what I understand on these uh, chassis is that because of the mid motor there's not enough weight on the rear here to give it traction so I'm hoping there's some stuff that we can do to this to make that change without adding too much more weight to it so yeah that's what I'm hoping for and um, so we'll go from there. So stand by. We're gonna start off as a dead stop without heating up the tires. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, just take off, see what it does. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So as you can see, getting a lot of tire spin. And uh, so, almost acting like, like I'm not locked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some extreme weight to the back of the car for now. Um, stand by. So a little, just a little off the uh, chain here, but I'm actually gonna use this heavy um, climbing, I can't, I can't remember what they're called, but anyway. I'm going to weigh that a little later. Let's see what this thing does. Still spins out pretty bad. No matter how much weight we put on this thing. Now, is it squatting? Get it more in the sunlight over here. Wow, that was pretty straight. If you notice that that um, metal piece I put on there shifted to one side, and when it did, it actually changed the, uh, it put the weight more on the left side than the right side. Let's try this again. Five, four, oh, let me pull up a little bit in the camera. One more time, five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, now it's doing it again. So I thought for a minute, maybe we got something there. OK, 
Okay, let me heat up the tires. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Yes. Now, let me see if that's the, is that caused by the wheelie bar? I can't tell. Let's see. Okay, let's see what happens. Five, four, three, two. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so let me do this. Let's switch the weight to the other side and see. If the weight to the side seems like it's breaking more traction. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hmm. So, basically, definitely not getting an attraction on that one side for some reason. All right, let's do this. Go into the radio settings. Let's go into my travel. Let's go into my throttle. And we will bring down to 95 from 100. Let's see what happens. Five, four, three, two, one go still spinning out yeah what happened was after watching the 707 guys i had already ordered this chassis so it came in so i was like well let me go ahead and play with it since i already got it coming and so i want to see if there's something i can do to make a change now i know these guys have done everything they could to mid motors and they just said that they're just not winners per se. So it is what it is. But let's see what happens. We can play with this and see what we can get out of it. So I am sidetracking a little bit. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Seems like it's still wanting to dip to the left. Yep, she's still dipping to the left. So let me just change that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove this thing here. I just stuck this on here to see what we could get or do with it. And uh, obviously, so <coughs> I did lose the screw. Stand by, gotta find the screw that fell out of the uh, wheelie bar. Okay, one more time. Really? Okay, get ready. One more time. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And she's still. Oh, crap. What the heck did I just do? I just broke the wheelie bar. Look at that. Oh, my gosh.
Wow. That'll make you sad. race innovation ones and I've never had one break before but yeah this thing died hard just one side I'm gonna see if I can get another replacement for it well as you can see one side died the other side lived must have been the side hit first and it really broke good see so I guess I gotta get a hold of Chuck Get another end for this wheelie bar. Maybe I can retrofit another one. Apparently I made a mistake by buying a mid-motor. Uh, I've got something in the works coming soon um, with somebody that everybody knows who's coming out with something soon. Stand by for that because when it happens, I'll let you know. If he doesn't let you know first but I'll definitely let you know via my video so anyway don't forget to like and subscribe and I apologize for his video not being as good as I wanted it to be today uh, I was hoping to maybe prove the 707 guys wrong but <laughs> they've been around a long time so apparently that doesn't happen anyway thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and remember have fun with RC's and by the way, when they made that announcement about the rear motor cars, I'd already ordered that. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Thank you. Okay, guys. I started to say, okay, I'm done for today. But you know, I changed my mind. Get out of the sun. Changed my mind. So, got the Fox and the Vet on the sideline. I'm not running them today. Well, I ran the Fox already without the body and saw what happened. So I'm gonna run the Nova now. Now this is the body I painted a while ago and haven't ran it. I haven't ran this chassis in, since I painted the body. And it's just because it came out so nice I didn't want to mess it up. The body did. Now the wing didn't come out so good, but I don't care. Uh, I'll be changing, putting a different wing on that anyway. So, oh. Found the screw I lost earlier. Hey, it landed right here at the line. This one's been dialed in a while ago. Hopefully, it's still good. Let's see what happens. Time. One, two, three, go. Hey guys, well at least you got to see one car run good. <laughs> I didn't run the, the vet yet, but one, two, three, go! Oop. A little, little sideways there. One, two, three, go!
One, two, three, go. Okay guys, that's a wrap.